friends. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Captain Marvel 2 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania which had some news popping out today. Uh, following the most recent shift in Marvel Studios' 2021 film schedule with the delays of Black Widow and Shang-Chi, it looks like this new setback didn't affect the studio's current plans as they continue to forge ahead with preparations for the impending production starts of Captain Marvel 2 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. According to the Film and Television Industry Alliance, the Brie Larson-led sequel and Paul Rudd-led threequel are both reportedly scheduled to start their respective productions on May 31st. Ant-Man 3 is expected to film in London and Atlanta until September 24th, while Captain America 2 will be shooting in London and Los Angeles. There are currently three Marvel Studios product, uh, features that are in production right now. These include Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and Thor Love and Thunder. All are filming in different locations with Spider-Man 3 in Atlanta, Doctor Strange 2 in London, and Thor 4 in Australia. Friends, we have a lot on our plates, but let's talk specifically Captain Marvel 2 and Ant-Man 3. How are we feeling? Uh, Jared, I'll start with you, my friend. Um, I'm super excited. I think it's really cool. You know, I think that Ant-Man having a third film is really cool. I think yeah. it's one of those things where if you kind of look at like, I don't know that like where we got some big comic heads here. So like we all remember when the Iron Man shift happened, like Iron Man was always popular, but the movies really moved him to like the forefront of like superhero culture, which he really wasn't comic wise. And I think what's really cool is they're kind of doing that with Ant-Man too, where they're like bringing Ant-Man kind of to the forefront of like this, of this whole MCU thing where like now we have big Ant-Man fans. It's also really cool. Like if anybody knows what they like, like um, the Wasp essentially, the, no, what's the actress's name? Evangeline Lilly. Yeah, she's from playing, Lost. No, she's Janet. Or no, hope. Hope. no hope. Yes. yeah, yeah. Hope. So Janet's her mom. Mm -hmm. Did we lose him? Yeah, he he froze. He for a is bit. so upset. <laughs> he has so many strong feelings. Hope, hope in the comics is completely. Oh, oh, was I out for a minute? Sorry. Yeah, you're you're back now. You're back now. Hope was completely something. Hey, future Kyrus, edit that out, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the fact that he's mad frozen with his arms up like Rocky right now. Oh, my baby. Wanda Maximoff is really doing it. I know. I love it. I love it. Wait, Jared, sign off and then sign back in. Uh, while, <laughs> while, while he's doing that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute him real quick. Uh, let's, let's go to Jackie. Jackie, how are you feeling about uh, Captain Marvel and Ant-Man and the Wasp? I mean, I'm happy to see more installments of anything. Uh, for me and Chris... Uh, my significant other here. Um, we live for Michael Pena in oh, uh, Ant-Man, <laughs> and we live for his stories. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, totally on an unrelated note, uh, Brie Larson totally looks like Lion out here, and I'm living yeah. for Chris. <laughs> do you, do you remember? That. Do you remember when she showed up in Endgame with the short hair? I love short hair. Um, like uh, just in general and when she showed up with short hair uh in, in endgame i was like yes please yeah they went through like her little phases of uh hair moments the long hair then the yeah. pixie cut and then well, but that's the other mohawk. thing people people have been saying that they think that she had short hair because when uh monica's mother uh maria rambo when she was she died of cancer mm. she, they believe that she shaved her head in solidarity Ooh. oh that's Cool. I'm back, everyone. <laughs> Jared. Cool. Jared is back. Uh, no, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm one of the people. I know that there, there were a lot of uh, men, I guess, that did not like uh, it, Captain God. Marvel, and I, I'm like, e man, the, woman haters clubs over and there. And like, was Lord. it the greatest movie of all time? Mm -hmm. No, it was. It was definitely not the greatest movie of all time. But it wasn't a bad movie. I thought it was. Right. I thought it was perfectly fine. I, and I, I didn't mind Brie Larson. Um, I, I, I didn't mind Sam Jackson. It was cool to see uh, Agent Coulson again, um, you know, de-aged and all that. I thought that was, that was cool. Um, uh, Mr. Jonathan V. Polanco, uh, how, what, are, what are your thoughts on uh, Captain Marvel 2 and Ant-Man 3? Um, I love Ant-Man. A lot of people give Ant-Man a lot of flack and a lot of people like have said like, oh, it's like the worst of the series of them. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, I don't accept the Paul Rudd hate 
ever. Mm. Uh, Paul Rudd is literally uh, the the photograph of Dorian Gray. Like he literally mm. has a picture of himself somewhere, and like <laughs> that's aging, and he's not. Yeah. Um, I love Evangeline Lilly. I live for Michelle Pfeiffer, Michael Douglas. Like all of these amazing actors are in this film. And now they're going to bring in Kang the Conqueror yes. of that. And it's just like, there's, there's, there, that, that is going to like, that is going to be, I think, in the movie that's going to catapult the, the MCU into its future phases. I feel like I'm super excited about the Multiverse of Madness. Yes. But I think the Multiverse of Madness is very much going to be like an Avengers Endgame level type thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to nod everything that's ever been done in comic books with marvel and you know they're just going to go everywhere with it whereas right. like endgame was like all of the marvel cinematic universe movies um and i think that that uh the quantumanium is really going to be the one that's going to like throw us into the future and possibly yeah. give us the big bad you know what's funny is that even the second ant-man was quite crucial to everything mm-hmm. that happened in Endgame specifically, I guess. Without um, Ant-Man, they wouldn't have been able to go into the quantum realm and right. turn, turn, turn back time. And well, the, well, technically without, what was it? Was it a rat? Was it a rat that was in that little... That's it was I definitely say. a little rat. It was actually, that rat. Yeah, his name is uh, 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 Octavius, but everyone calls him Gus Gus. He was actually in Cinderella several, <laughs> several years ago, but he was stuck in the quantum realm as well time works different down there. I, I, yeah. I I thought it was I thought you were gonna say that he was Mephisto just like playing the cards yes. possibly girl watch, he is. you watch multiverse of madness is gonna come bite you in your ass Mephisto's is gonna be all up and down that bitch and you're gonna be like I don't know oh how to God. feel about my life now yeah no I'm, I'm super excited for for both movies uh <clears throat> I mean did they oh, split? also, I yeah. heard in the, the like, the, I don't know if Jared's heard this. We have to get him back. He's probably checking his internet uh, connection <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now. Um, but I heard that Mystique and Rogue are supposed to be the foils and the, the bad guys for Captain Marvel 2. I think he said that. Yeah. He's, yeah. The, yeah. King, he's the king of rumors. He has all of the inside yeah. connections. All oh, yeah. the rumors, girl. All of the rumors. So, yeah, we have to get him back so we can confirm. So we need to write that down, and we're going to have a list of questions for him. <laughs> <laughs> for when, for when, he's come, when he comes back he's probably flipping out right now yeah. uh, he's like oh why am I not here uh, which means that this will be the highest rated episode that we do, that we do. <laughs> and he's gonna be like what the hell um, so yeah no I'm really excited for these two movies I think it's gonna be fun I'm excited for um, specifically for Ant-Man and the Wasp because I think they did say that that's gonna be just like the other ones more of like a family um, film mm-hmm. you know that everybody can come in and that's like in a way like low stakes but not really you know mm-hmm. um so i'm yeah i'm excited for that and i would imagine we're gonna get some more hope um hope Van, hope not hope um janet mm-hmm. janet uh some more janet accent uh, action and man if we can get all four of them you know uh i'm Hank here and, for it man and hope and janet and like all of them and all in one big action sequence that's that's great i'm excited I'm also um, just ready to see Michelle Pfeiffer fight again. Yes. Like, oh my gosh. Yes. Give her give her a whip. Give her a whip. Oh my just god. As a just just as a nod. nod. She's so pretty. So Listen. pretty. Wait, what did Jared say? I don't know why my uh, internet is doing this, but I'm trying to get back on all. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, oh. He really wants to be here, ladies and gentlemen. He's he does ready. really want to be here. <laughs> 